What is the impact of age on IVF success rates? What does the latest research show? Now, let me break this up. There is obviously two people involved in an IVF cycle, the husband and the wife. The man's age makes no difference at all. I know people say, yeah, that's so unfair. Why should that be? The woman's fertility declines, but the man can have babies at any time. And that's true. And, you know, we didn't choose that as men. But the reality is that the testis produces sperms right throughout a man's life. So whether he's 40 or whether he's 70, the testis will continue producing sperms, will continue ejaculating fresh sperm. And these sperm will remain functionally competent no matter how old he is. Which is why 70 year old men do father babies in their bedroom. So it will not affect a man's fertility, the age. The age will affect a woman's fertility. Now there is no simple correlation between age and your specific fertility. We can give you general guidelines. So we can say fertility declines after 30. After 35 the decline is much sharper. After 38 it's even worse. And you need to be aware of this. But honestly, you don't care about other women's fertility or what's happening to other older women. You only care about your own fertility. And you need to understand that there is no simple correlation between calendar age or chronological age or whether you're 38 or 40 and your ovarian age. Because ovaries age at a different rate as compared to the rest of your body. So you will have 40 year old women who are in top physical shape, you can do a marathon, but whose eggs are terrible quality and vice versa. So don't jump to conclusions. Make sure you understand how ovarian reserve is measured. And remember, the best way to check ovarian response is by doing an IVF cycle to see whether your eggs are capable of making good embryos. That's the ultimate answer. And I know it's an expensive answer, but if you're not well informed, you're likely to end up making decisions which you will regret afterwards.